I decided to get in character for today's flipbook video, which is about a skeleton. So here's where this idea came from. When I was really young, um, around Halloween time, my mom used to sing this song and the lyrics went like this. Poor old John, poor old John, long white bones with the skin all gone. Ooh, wouldn't it be chilly with no skin on? Okay, so I got online to look for this song to see what it was called, if it was a real song. So apparently it's called The Ghost of John and the lyrics online are a little bit different than how I remember hearing it, uh, but it got me thinking about that skeleton. And so I started imagining this shivering cold skeleton uh, sitting in a graveyard wishing he were warm. And so uh, that is what this flip book is going to be about. So I'm going to do it all in black and white and gray tones. Uh, oh, and music. Music. The song, if you didn't know, is by Bach, uh, who is awesome. And it always makes me think of graveyards. Okay, so I thought I would have a ghost in the graveyard too. So this is the ghost crossing in front of the skeleton. So this is going to be a series of shots. Next I'll do the, the opening shot, which will be this wide shot where the camera is kind of panning across. As I'm working on this wide first shot, the tricky part is kind of figuring out how to keep the right amount of detail without making it too tedious to trace every time uh, with all these little small details of all these ribs and bones. What I'm doing, I'm building this shot out in layers because it's a tracking shot. It's a shot where the camera is like tracking through the gravestones. And so I'm going to have some, some parallax effect happening, uh, which I've talked about in one of my other videos. But what I'm doing here, I'm going to make three templates to trace. So I'll have foreground, middle ground, and then background. And so when, you're, when your quote unquote camera is tracking sideways, what, what happens is the objects in the foreground, they move across the frame faster than objects in the background. So these gravestones in front, they're moving uh, a fairly large distance each page. And then in the background, the increments uh, as they move each page are going to be much smaller. So all I'm doing is readjusting the position of my template on each page. And uh, it also really helps to measure out your distances beforehand so, you, so that your speed stays consistent as the objects move. I'm pretty excited to color this one, uh, even though coloring always seems to take at least as long as the drawing does or, or longer, um, but it's really like nice when you get to that point because the animation is basically done and you can just sort of sit back and kind of chill and relax a little bit and just color. So I, I want to have this moment between the, the ghost and the skeleton where they're just like looking at each other and the ghost is feeling sympathetic toward the cold skeleton. There's not really much movement happening here at all, but I want something. So I'm going to have the ghost just sort of subtly slide in um, and then there's just a little lift of the eyes. Same thing with the skeleton. There's really no movement. Uh, he's just looking at the ghost, but I'm, I'm just going to make the shot kind of pan very slightly. It's probably going to be so subtle that you're never even going to notice, uh, but that's okay. I'm all, I'm all about subtlety that you don't ever really notice consciously. Okay, now um, I think maybe I shouldn't totally spoil the end of the flipbook for you, so uh, what I'll do right now is I'm just going to cut, cut ahead to the coloring montage, and then I'll show you the finished flipbook after that.
and it's done. But what's even more awesome than the fact that it's finished is my sister-in-law, Candy. She is amazing with music. And so I did a collaboration with her and my niece, Josie, on a new version of the Ghost of John song that matches with the lyrics and melody the way I remember hearing it as a kid. It's really cool. It's really haunting. So I'm going to play that song now along with the flipbook as I flip it. Here it goes. what you guys think. I hope you liked it. This was a super fun flipbook to make and getting to collaborate with Candy and Josie on the music was just so awesome and fun. And music is actually what brings me to today's sponsor, the Raycon E25 headphones. These are awesome little headphones. They're about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market and they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands that you know. This model, it's their latest model, the E25. It's the best one yet. It gives you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass. Look at the way the earbuds just snap in magnetically. It's so, it's so satisfying. Um, and with the charging case, you'll have a total of 24 hours of playtime. I actually had the Raycon E50s before I had these, but these new uh, E25s, they're even better and more compact. So click the link in the description below to get yourself a pair. They're already inexpensive, like I said, but Raycon has been awesome. And with the link down in my video description, you can get 15% off of your order. So uh, go check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.